So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Ask me for any gear you need. Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You 
haven't been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right, we'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Say something? Remind them about curfew? No. You don't remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. Severely deadly beating. Hey, what's going on there? Somebody get out! Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across all streets until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise.
Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is... Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett, even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure. Like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running. At least for now. Yes, yes. If by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine, too, until he crosses the wrong man. Who's over there? Get over here!
officer before coming on duty. Yeah, he came through early. I saw touch the charger and left for the loop. Things give me the willies, sir. You'll be thankful when Slackjaw's boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't. Got you now. Get around, Blanket. Take out his leg. <laughs>
get to work and perk. Well, there's nothing to do. Heard something? Yeah. I'll get to the bottom of this. What was uh -huh. I need a joke? Somebody about. Watch it. I know you're here. Oh, I'll find Why would no screams worry you more? Because it is our job to look after Sokolov and make absolutely sure he continues his work. The screams are evidence his work continues. Thus, the screams are evidence that I have done my job. Oh, 
think you go upstairs and ask the madman yourself. Yes, of course. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, <laughs> I undress. I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Someone skulking around. <clears throat> I now 
turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat... Like an animal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. been spotted on Cauldron 3, near the home of Anton Sokolov, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Any personnel in the area are ordered to take all measures to protect Sokolov. The royal physician himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. I know you're here. 